Paratus Telecommunications Botswana is a fully licensed telecommunications provider in Botswana. We believe in investing in our own infrastructure to provide quality services to our customers. We're part of the Paratus group of companies, a telecommunications services group that operates throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, we have operations as far afield as Angola, DRC, and all the way to the East Coast in Maputo and Mozambique. Botswana Kalahari Fiber, as the project was called, is an 840 kilometer fiber project reaching all the way from Lubatsi through Kabarondi to the border with Namibia. It's an additional independent route which offers diversity to the country in terms of connectivity. Um, it allows us to connect to even more undersea cables, including the new Equiano cable, which uh, Paratus is a landing partner for in Swakopmund. And it gives us lower latency and better speeds for the, for the entire country. We allow the distance, the natural geographic distances of Botswana to guide uh, what we were able to do. And then by choosing the right sets of equipment, we were able to achieve our own design capability of 14 terabits per second. Now with this contiguous long line system, we're able to produce just for ourselves on inception in excess of 200 gigabits per second. Prada's main focus is on quality, quality of the service that we provide. So how do you measure quality? So quality, uh, you know, it's how fast is the internet? Uh, if you're a gamer, how good is your ping? <laughs> or latency, uh, so the big key word around BKF is latency, latency to Europe and so forth. These are your typical measures of quality, but um, something, one important factor that people tend to forget is uptime. So it doesn't matter if you've got the best speed or the best latency. If your service is off every other day, it doesn't really matter. We spent a lot of time and energy looking into how do we keep the service up and running. We looked at what we can achieve, uh, what does it cost, uh, how easy it is to deploy, uh, how easy is it to maintain, how easy is it to get stolen. Uh, all these things we had to, to look into as part of our planning. So the route was actually an overhead route, so it consists of uh, poles and fiber being strung along the poles. So the gumballs we got locally from a local supplier and we, we installed 16,000 gum poles. We got about 800 kilometers of fiber. So it was about 200 rolls of fiber that was delivered all over the, along the route to make it easier and quicker to install them. My name is Donald Madigwe. I am a fiber supervisor at Paratos Telecommunication Botswana. I was involved in this BKF project, which by far is my biggest I've ever uh, supervised or even managed. The cable that we were pulling is a special cable. It's a 48 fiber ADSS G6527, which is of the latest. This cable can withstand harsh conditions, knowing that we are deploying this fiber in the desert. So we know that it's hot and it can be dry as well. So our, our cable is, is durable for such uh, climate conditions. We've got um, a repeater site along our route. Normally, a fiber optic uh, signal, when it reaches a uh, distance of 100 kilometers, it needs to be amplified because it loses signal. It's called attenuation. We normally put them at a distance of 100 kilometers. We've had a lot of firsts. We've got some solar powered sites. We've got uh, sites that have generators that stop themselves. We've got sites that tell us when the main supply is down. So if the site is on battery, we want to know that. If there wasn't enough sun at site number seven because it was a cloudy day, we can see that. If the generator was told to start by the system and it didn't, we can see that. And we can get people out there to do the necessary to keep the sites up and running. We're very unique in, in the way we do the things we do. So this is the difference. The, this is the, it's the process difference. We realized that building a fiber from this major hub in South Africa being Terraco to the Equiano cable would be pivotal for all of the region and our space. Whether you consider this as a consumer uh, or whether you consider this as a provider looking for alternate pathing, more secure pathing, or likewise just diverse from all of the cables uh, running through South Africa that the rest of the region has to leverage off of. I think we did quite a good job as a team. We 
developed some new ways of doing different things in terms of monitoring, in terms of how we put the components together, um, in terms of how we control the access and security. All the countries tend to work together quite harmonious. As a, as a group, are not shy to ask each other for help. We're not shy to offer each other assistance where it's needed. It wasn't as difficult as one would expect. Uh, a, a multi-country project like this one. My name is Sifia Mutsimeng. I am Oruni Kiaralemang, working as optic fiber technician here in Botswana. I do fiber installations mostly in homes, more often in businesses and industrial sections. BKF to me means growth. We did not only do this for Paratas Botswana, but we mostly did it for our customers because they are our number one priority. Also, it has exposed me to a whole lot of things that I haven't experienced before in the fiber industry. I got to do new trainings, new skills that I haven't seen before in my life, which is a good thing and it's an investment towards my future ahead in the fiber section. This project, it gave me a lot of experience and exposure because I had to work with different people, many stakeholders, and also having to work with our international partners. The advice that I can give to young people that want to do fiber is that they have to be passionate, they have to be prepared to work under a lot of pressure, they have to go to school so that they get certified, but all in all, I think being a fiber expert is really, really nice. Although the project's finished, it's not the end of the road for us. We still have to maintain the whole route, so the Hansi guys will cover the top section of the route and then we'll have, from our side, cover the bottom section up to Kang. 840 kilometers of fiber through remote areas of Botswana is quite a feat to, to achieve. Having achieved what we have achieved is, is something that really is testament to how good the team is in Botswana. And I'm really incredibly proud of what they've done. If you consider being landlocked, the idea is always that uh, transport costs you more, importation costs you more, connectivity costs you more, because we just have further to go than the next person to get to enjoy the same resources. This landlocked country, Botswana, is pivotal to the success of this line system and likewise the distribution of this massive ABC Equiano cable. This puts Botswana for the first time, I think, on a telecom space in the forefront. It makes it undeniable Botswana's relevance in the space. Subsequently, you would, should expect to see more cables, more fiber routes, and more infrastructure being built in Botswana, being the heart of SADC, and that changes the landscape.